Now that you've learned about carbonyl reactions at an alpha carbon, we can take a look at some biological examples of these various kinds of reactions at the alpha carbon of carbonyl compounds. First, let's look at an example of a biological aldol addition. Glucose is the most abundant sugar found in nature, and it's synthesized in biological systems from two molecules of what's known as pyruvate. The series of reactions that convert two molecules of pyruvate into glucose is called glucogenesis. The reverse process, the breakdown of glucose into two molecules of pyruvate, is called glycolysis. Because glucose has twice as many carbons as pyruvate, it's not surprising to learn that one of the steps in the biosynthesis of glucose is an aldol addition. An enzyme called aldolase catalyzes an aldol addition between dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. The product is fructose 1,6-diphosphate, which, through a series of other steps, is subsequently converted to glucose. Collagen is the most abundant protein in mammals, amounting to about one-fourth of the total protein. It is the major fibrous component of bones, teeth, skin, cartilage, and tendons. Individual collagen molecules can be isolated only from the tissues of young mammals. As mammals age, the individual collagen molecules become cross-linked or bonded together, which is why meat from older animals is tougher than meat from younger animals. Collagen cross-linking is an example of an aldol condensation. Before collagen molecules can cross-link, the ammonium groups must be converted to aldehyde groups by the enzyme lysyl oxidase. An aldol condensation can then take place between the two aldehyde groups, producing the cross-linked collagen protein, and the alpha-beta unsaturated aldehyde that we expect from a, an aldol condensation. An example of a biological Clayson reaction is a formation of long-chain fatty acids. As you'll learn in later videos, fatty acids are unbranched carboxylic acid chains. Most naturally occurring fatty acids contain an even number of carbons because they are synthesized from the two-carbon acetate ion. Before reacting, the acetate ion is first converted into a thioester which is an ester with a sulfur in place of the carboxylate oxygen. Another key ingredient is thioester, which is formed by carboxylation of the acetate thioester. The first step of the process is a Clayson condensation. The nucleophile is formed by decarboxylation of the thioester. This nucleophile forms an association with the acetate thioester, and after the SR group leaves, the beta keto thioester is formed. This goes through a series of reduction, dehydration, and reduction reactions to form a new 4 carbon thioester. This new thioester can repeat the cycle with another molecule of melanol thioester until the proper even number of carbon atoms is present for the, the desired fatty acid.